welcome to another edition of Geek Culture Unboxed. Unboxed. Today, you have me, Lou, Diego, and Imaginarium Arts Legacy Scale Thundercracker. Yes. Well, go for it. All right, <laughs> hey, your piece. Gonna, well, yeah, it's, it's my piece. Of, uh, I, think, I think what we can say, we're just looking at each other and we're like, oh, it, it is, is a very is. nice piece. Yes. I know you saw our video about the Legacy Scale Optimus Prime, and that was primarily a pain mm, issue. Yes. This is beautiful. Now, what I'm wondering from you, because we haven't talked about it, is it as beautiful as Big Star Screen? Well, what, you what know what? Missing? You, uh, you know what? It's just, it, 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 you know, it's it, it's hard to compare it because uh, you know what? The, where this beats Star Scream is the pose. Really? You know, I, I, and I, I have to agree with John. The pose is just dynamic. You know, it, well, yeah, it's dynamic, but man, it, it's it's just an, it's an opposing pose. Yes, if you look at Star Scream, if John, you know, pans with tar, you know, towards Star Scream. Yes, it's just more like he's he's just right here, ready to blast. Yeah, he's ready to blast. Yes, but this one he's in attack mode. I like this pose. However, the paint job on Starscream is is bar none. Yeah, you know is best just, one yeah, out yeah, of yeah, all yes. imaginary we've looked yeah, at. Yeah, you just you can't you know you can't compare. That's just like apples and oranges here. But <laughs> but for the, you know for the price and I'm you know I got this for you know and and the pose is it's 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 it great. Okay, it, it is it is great. Well, question yeah, on the price. Yeah. So as John and I had talked about in the side by side with Imaginarium next to the PCS, do you would you have felt better if this was two hundred and ten delivered, or are you oh, comfortable God, oh, with oh, five four oh five? Oh no, no, I would have I would have felt a whole lot better with you know with two hundred. Do you think yeah, that's yeah. what they should be priced at? Do you think four hundred is too much? Well, you know what? After but the, you know, again, you and I come from these these big thousand attempts, dollar pieces. thousand dollar pieces. You know, for a four hundred dollar piece, this is great. Okay. Okay. However, would I prefer to pay three hundred? I, I I would say three hundred. Is two, the, you know two hundred? Is the medium three hundred? You know, you know, like, you know, like, like two hundred. I would say I'm lowballing the artist that whoever did this. You know, uh, you know, or who, I would say lowballing. But man, three hundred. If it's you if, like, if, like, if you told me three hundred, I'll be sold. Here, here you go. And I like that price. I'm really glad that you pointed out because there's three of these. There's Thundercracker. There's Skywarp and there's uh, Starscream yes. and they're a set and they look great together. Now we're gonna do a different display here at Geek Culture. Diego's gonna have Thundercracker, we're talking about getting Skywarp, and then we're gonna put it back behind the big Starscream so that you have that perspective that they're smaller because they're behind. So we're gonna go with that, but in regards to the $300 price point, 300, 300, 300, yes. it's with shipping, and you're it, looking at $1,000 for, for three pieces? Yes. Yes, and that would just be a magic you know, I guess a magic uh, collection right there. Yeah. And, you know, anybody would love to have that collection. I'm, you know, I wish I can afford all three, but, you know, I already spent a lot of money on Starscream. Diego's said, scaling back here. Yeah. So We're I, all scaling yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, you know what? And the thing is, you know, is, you know, I wish you could see my, you know, uh, this, setup. our setup. You know, I have to scale back. I have to scale back on size because I'm just running out of room. Room? Yeah. <laughs> so. and, and Diego's got maybe a fraction. I don't even know yes. if he's got a quarter of what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know... This this gentleman right here to my side, man, you, you gotta see his house. You, every time you go into his house, it's like a museum. <laughs> so, well, 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 you know what? But let's talk about this piece right here. Talk about it, D. Yeah. So, uh, it's a great piece, a great pose. Um, uh, I mean, you know, uh, base. <laughs> talk to him about the base. <laughs> you know, if, you know. Again, if, I know, I know, I'm like kind of stuttering here, but it's just, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an awesome beautiful. piece. It's beautiful. When we were taking it out, like we're like, oh my god, they just, look at this. Now. Again, the base, you know, what we're talking about, it's it's a perfect base. Yep. It's small. Compact. You know, you know, you know what? It's the thing is, it, it's not small. It's not. It's actually a perfect size for it. Yeah. And you can put it on your desktop. You can put it, you know, somewhere. Like like again, I have speakers in the background. You can put it on a speaker. It fits pretty much anywhere you you choose. And this is great. It's not like a, this this prime legacy. One. Yeah, the legacy yeah. prime. Because all the other pieces, yes. look, I mean, Jazz fits on the speaker. This one fits on the speaker. I'm sure Skywarp and, and uh, Starscream yes. do. The Prime was a little bit bigger. It's a cool base, but it's not going to fit mm -hmm. where we want it to. So that's it. But it, I, I'm guessing Imaginarium figured that out as they win. They're like, oh, we got to make the base smaller. Yeah. And I do like the Decepticon symbol, on, you know, as far as Starscream. I mean, Starscream. Thundercracker being on, uh, on, on the Decepticon symbol. Really great. Uh, paint. I would give it a nine. There are some flaws, but 
they're not they're not big. I didn't notice much. I really yeah. didn't. My 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 biggest pick on the paint is I like the traditional G1 color, a little lighter blue. Yes. I like that. Yeah. But the blue but you know, for, for me, I was looking right here at the, you know, right you know, the you line. See, yeah, yeah we'll bring it around right here. Right here. He's looking at that. Not so sharp. Minor yeah. pick. It, it's it's minor. I agree it's with minor. Diego. I like the pose. Very dynamic. Right there at that angle. We like that. I uh, had D step off camera so we can get the measuring tape. We want to give you the measurements. Yeah. We're talking about the base. So the base is approximately eight inches wide. And then at, it's got an angle. Don't let me quote it. I'd say 45. At the angle, it is about nine inches all the way back to where his foot is. And then across, again, eight inches. So it's eight by eight. What's the height on it? Oh, the height up to that point the base. is... Yeah, we're only talking, we're only talking we're only talking about the base. Uh, right there where the point of the Decepticon symbol is six. Speaking of Decepticon symbol, I know you saw the pictures in the beginning and then you're looking at the pictures on the base. We want to congratulate Imaginarium again. They started their Transformer series with Diamond Eyes. They immediately fixed it and all Transformers since then, all Decepticons. They have the G1. Have you know, the G1 actual triangle yes. eyes. So great job Imaginarium. So we gave you the measurements on the base. From the bottom to the tip of the wing is 18 and a half inches? Yes, 18 and a half. Okay. And then from the tip of the blaster to the end of the wing, we're no, looking no, actually, at... Actually, over here. Yeah. To, so, to, so from one blaster to one blaster? 17 inches. 17 inches. So there you have the measurements for Starscream. And I'm going to bring on, on camera, yeah. I'm going to bring the masterpiece. So, so what, what, uh, you know, what, what Lewis is referring to, th again, this is the masterpiece that I have. And this is cartoon accurate as far as color. You know, this is, is cartoon accurate. So some people are, are more fond to the cartoon accuracy. For me, it's more about the detail. You know, you know. I, it, again, you, it looks like G1, and it, it's very similar to, you know, to you know, to the cartoon. And I, and I'm happy with that. The colors. You know, some people was like, oh, well, that's not true G1 because of the color. I yeah. want it to be more, more of a light blue. That's me. You know, yeah. And to each his own. Yeah. But it's more but. Of a but yeah, and also the comic color, yes, yeah, so as well. What you cannot deny, Imaginarium, and now that we've it, had PCS, you know, the yes. only one we're missing is uh, XM. We haven't had XM yeah. in studio yet, but yeah, out of everybody that's doing Prime One, PCS, Imaginarium, and XM, we believe Imaginarium is blowing it away with the modernization of the G1 style. So you they know, take the G1 and they modernize they it. They modernize it, but the thing is, is that they stay true to the form. Yes. I just wish movies would do this. <laughs> Amen, you're, you're Diego. Like, I, go, I, I, can, I can deal with the offset of the color. Yeah. A, a, a lot of fans can deal with the offset of the color, but as long as you get something similar, you will be happy. And you know it isn't yeah. hard for them to transform an, uh, transform an F-35 Raptor to look like this. Yeah. It's not going to change much. You guys are just, Bay just, yeah. Bay did Bay. So, again, it all depends, you know, you know, you know, I got my figure right here. So, it's, it's cartoon accurate. It's comic accurate. But my statue, great piece. What do you think of, yeah. uh, what do you think of the black fins and then the blue fins? What, what's your feedback there? It's no big deal. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, don't, I don't see no problem with it. You know, for me, it's more of the face and the wings and um, the body, the body type. You know, uh, I, I, th that's what I look for. You know, just something similar to the cartoon. Okay. Now, one great feature about, about Imaginarium, what they did with this legacy piece is that I, I, we don't have it out, but here goes the head. You can take off the head, but what you can do, if you just turn it upside down, it comes out and then you it, switch it, out face. Yeah, you can switch out the faces. It's a magnet. Very strong magnet. Very strong magnet. So again, you can see the face right here coming off. There is a face that we have it put away. And he's and, not screaming. Yeah. All it is is that he it's more just Yeah. He has his uh, lips yeah. closed. No expression. No expression. And it all all it does is just slide on. Okay. Uh, it's not holding. Oh. There Did the magnet come out? Yeah, the magnet came out right here. <laughs> So that's how strong it is. I actually pulled it out. Good thing we have the super yeah. glue sitting by. There no, 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 no. Actually, uh, it goes no, in a because groove. yeah. Oh, okay. It goes in a little groove. So, so this is the magnet. It got cut onto the the magnet that's here. It sits in there, and it's gonna go. It's gonna go into that magnet. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very it's just it's just a very strong magnet. <laughs> so, let me play with this. 
Hello. So that's what it is. And it's just, it's just getting that magnet in there. <laughs> it's a very strong magnet. <laughs> Need some tweezers? There it is. There we go. All right, put okay. them back. Put it back and leave it there. Bye. What about the fact that the eyes don't light up? Because I we haven't noticed that. You know I, what? Yeah, and and I noticed that right away when and when it, when we when we took it out, it would have been great to have something to just light up, just like a little battery, maybe at the you know somewhere at the base or even an AC in the head, head. Yeah. and it would have gone to the. I would have loved to have those eyes light in a pop. Well, having a, and you know we don't really light up Rodimus. Uh, we have three pieces from mm. Imaginary and the light up. The sound wave lights up, the star scream lights up, and the, and the Rodimus. But out of all of them, the Starscream had the poorest yes. design for putting the battery in. And so we want to encourage Imaginarium to please continue working it out because everything else, you're in the nines, man. We want you in the tens. You're yes. high yes. nines. You are ruling it and when it comes to Transformers. If we, if we gave you a, a scale from 1 to 10, you're in the 9, 9.5. Hell yeah. It's just the little things that... That'll kick yeah, you into yeah, a yeah. 10. You know, for example, just, you know, just the eyes to light up. Uh, color accuracy. Sometimes they're, you know, they are off. Yeah, prime. Um, but on a piece like this, for example, John and I were noticing. Man, just the back alone. If you just had them face the wall, the back alone is is, is great. It's yeah. beautiful. Because you, 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 yeah, yeah, you get <laughs> an evil butterfly. <laughs> well, it's yeah, spread. Yeah. That's why. So and then not only that, the thrust, the detail yeah, of the, the thruster, the details of the thrust. Yes. Oh yeah, the John was pointing that yeah. out. And um, I know on the uh, on the Optimus Prime piece that they, they did a magnet uh, on Prime. These still have pegs. These are you know, they, could they? they the no, let's let's talk about that. Could they do? And John's like hell no. no. No, not not on this piece because it's, because at least with uh, with Optimus, he you know he was He's upright. straight up. Yeah, yeah, he was upright. This one, he has a more of a lean figure, just as in the Jazz. Jazz. Now. He, uh, they have it on two, but they were very small. So my question, because it's a lean. Is it gonna start to lean forward? Well, I actually I'm glad you brought that up. How long how long have we had jazz now? Ooh, shoot, it's been a while. I forgot. I forgot. Is it a year? I cannot remember when we got them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say almost a year. Now the great the reason I bring that up is we were concerned when we did that review because he's only got one peg and he's hovering and he's got at an angle. But you see, we're not having any lean issues. Not come yes. wood, no issues. We, because, that's a thumbs you know, up because, imaginary. Because, because I think they, theirs was like about that long, right? Oh, the, for the peg? Yeah, for the peg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was anchored in. I think it was your piece where it was like maybe... Oh, what, the PCS one? I forgot what it was, right? But it had a really little and, peg? And then, and then it, all of a sudden it starts to lean. Yeah, yeah. So you're not gonna you're not going to get that with Jazz. This one right here, they had small pegs, so it, time will tell. We'll see you in time. But it's a great yeah. piece. You'll see him and hopefully Skywarp up here neck behind Starscream in the near future and on the back of our set. Um, yeah. We and, can't... Oh yeah, no, I was just, I was gonna comment on, on this on these pieces. Each one, each piece of these, they're all magnet. Uh, for the most part, very strong magnet. As you can see, I was having a hard, hard time. With the face. Fixing the face. They're all strong magnets. Good, good job on that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I, I was getting ready to say, we look forward to showing all you geeks that come out and see us at our displays these pieces. We have a, a great uh, vision yes. set up for our next booth display. We welcome you guys to come out. Uh, you'll even have a chance to win that Legacy Optimus Prime, which uh, we're kind of considering turning into <laughs> a Nemesis Prime. So we, you'll have to find out when we get there. Will he be Optimus still, or did he get painted over to Nemesis? We're, we're, we're talking about that now. But you can win that Legacy Optimus Prime, courtesy of Imaginary and Marts. Thank you for that. So again, Anything else to add to Thundercracker? No. Good job, Imaginarium. Amazing you know, job. Amazing job. If I had to rate you out of 1 in 10, it's a 9.5. It's just the color accuracy. If you Imagine if you did that uh, that color. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It, I, I'd have been through the yeah, roof, yeah. dude. You know, or if not, the eyes light up. You're, you're right there. But again, great job. I totally recommend it. If, you, in, if you're viewing this, Big Bad Toy Story, that's where I got it from. Yes. And uh, four hundred dollar retail, came, five dollar shipping. It, the minute they got it, it, it came within the week. It Ooh. was that fast. And Sky, and Skywarp's coming up. He's actually yes. due to ship in uh, December. One more note before we close out. Uh, what was it? What was I saying? Um, not consecutive packaging. Uh, what's the word I oh, used? Uh, you, you know, you were using consistency. Consistency. 
So uh, Imaginarium, I really like the packaging that uh, Thundercracker came in. I sure hope Skywarp's gonna have the same packaging. Optimus was even better. Well, Optimus was yeah, small. Yeah, it was that, but it had that felt. Oh, the felt, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll add that in a minute. But I like the size and the style of the box. Now, the only thing that, that Thundercracker was missing that Optimus had, he had a felt on the uh, inside of the styrofoam insert, which was really snazzy. I like that. I like that a lot better than the silk that Prime One and PCS put in there. I don't care about the silk. Yeah. I like the felt. That was a really nice touch. But consistency in the boxes, make them all the same boxes. I would like that. It helps me store it better, helps them stack better. I like it. Just something I wanted to pass on to Imaginarium. Other than that, no. <laughs> All right, well, please like our channel, subscribe, join in the comments below. Please be professional and courteous. courteous. Remember, the, the companies read these feedbacks. We'll see you geeks next time. <laughs>